molten material flowing out of uh, the South Tower just before its collapse. There's a large quantity of yellow hot metal. And, uh, and, then, and then I read about these pools of molten metal underneath both towers and Building 7 after their collapses. Now that fits like a glove with the thermite reaction uh, which uh, produces molten iron. You also see in these videos of this uh, molten metal coming up, you see this white ash, this dust that comes off. Now that combination, yellow hot molten metal, white ash floating away, uh, that's his signature uh, characteristic for thermite. And then finally, we, we got some samples of this uh, uh, metal, the previously molten metal. Using advanced techniques like proton-induced X-ray emission and uh, elect an electron microprobe, we found out what's in these uh, samples. We're finding iron, but also sulfur, potassium, and manganese. And th these are characteristic of a variation of thermite which is used to cut through steel very rapidly. It's called thermate. It's like, um, sure, you can take a knife, you take the butter out of the fridge, and you cut through that butter. Now, adding sulfur to thermite and also potassium permanganate, these chemicals, it's like heating up your knife to a very high temperature. Now, it slices right through the butter. Even if the butter's cold, it slices right through. Same way here, by adding sulfur and potassium permanganate to thermite, it'll now slice through structural steel very rapidly. And, but the end products then, you'll have sulfur and potassium, manganese, and iron. And that's what we see. Thermite had to be planted in the buildings, which of course implies directly an inside job. Someone had to have access into the buildings. Then in mid-March of 2006, Actor Charlie Sheen went public on my syndicated radio show and simply called for a new independent investigation and questioned the official story. Sheen knew that the establishment lapdogs would attack his personal past, whether real or manufactured, instead of challenging him on the facts. So Charles Sheen preemptively challenged them to challenge him on the facts, something they steadfastly refused to do. Literally hundreds of vicious hit pieces were written in newspapers worldwide. Every old rumor was dredged up and thrown at Sheen, and a fresh raft of allegations was launched at him. The only national television program that was fair in its presentation was Showbiz Tonight with A.J. Hammer on CNN. On Showbiz Tonight, Charlie Sheen speaks out on a controversial theory that the government covered up what really happened on 9-11. Taking over four uh, commercial airliners and hitting 75% of their targets, that feels like a conspiracy theory. Tonight, we dig even deeper. The host of the radio show on which Sheen leveled his startling allegations joins us live right here on Showbiz Tonight. The radio host who interviewed Sheen is Alex Jones of the Genesis Communications Network. Alex joins me live from Austin, Texas to talk about Sheen's riveting comments. Alex, as I mentioned, the response that we got from doing this story last night, absolutely shocking. So I want to know how it actually all came about. How did the interview with Charlie Sheen actually happen? Did you guys reach out to him? Did he call you? What was the deal? Well, just to make something clear, Mr. Sheen has amazing courage to do what he's done, and he contacted me. He's been watching my documentaries for years. He's one of the most informed people that I've talked to in Hollywood on this subject. Listen, for years, Hollywood's been on fire with people knowing the truth about 9-11, and I was the first to expose 9-11 on the day. In fact, two months before, I had intel that elements of the military-industrial complex were going to carry out the attack. I said they'll use bin Laden, the known CIA asset, as their patsy to take the blame for attacking the towers. So Mr. Sheen is only uh, exceptional in that he has courage in going public, courage that no one else in Hollywood had. I mean, here's a CNN poll from Anderson Cooper a year and a half ago where they said, is the government covering up 9-11? Could they be involved? 90% when the poll closed on CNN said this. So listen, I have my own syndicated show. I've done 4,000 records radio interviews in the last four and a half years. Almost no one calls in and disagrees now. We have the majority view and we have the evidence. And 
Bottom line, there are declassified U.S. government documents like Operation Northwoods that ABC News reported on back in 2000. Operation Northwoods, Google it, and in there the U.S. government, an element of it, said we want to hijack jets by remote control, crash them, and blame it on the Soviet Union and Cuba. Now, that, that was decades ago. This is why we believe this. Right. Then you look at the official story, the firefighters, the police, hundreds of them saying there were bombs in the buildings. They were told to shut up. You look at Building 7, detonators are going off. You can see the explosion. And, and Alex and Alex, a lot of this is what Charlie Sheen was covering. I'm, I'm actually just curious. Did did he reach out to you guys? Is he the one who, who put the call into you? Sure. Is that how he sure. wound up on your show? Sure. Hey. He called me a few weeks ago and said that uh, said that uh, he loves this country. He has nothing to gain from this. I mean, in fact, it's dangerous for him to do. But he sure, said, I love sure. this country and, and my kids so much that I'm going to do this, Alex. And I said, God bless you, because now it may spur other Hollywood people who've got major pull who know the truth to start going public. Look, it's really simple. Let's understand this, okay? 9-11 was an inside job. It was a self-inflicted wound, and, and, and what Charlie Sheen is doing is just amazing, and he can only be commended for it, and all he's calling for is a real investigation. I go further at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. We lay out how it happened, what took place, and it's not just Charlie Sheen. I've interviewed, CNN has interviewed some of these people, the only network that I've seen doing it. You guys have interviewed. There have been physics professors that have gone public. There have been the heads of mining colleges that have gone public. Uh, George Bush Sr.'s top CIA advisor who briefed him and briefed Ronald Reagan, one of the highest level guys at the CIA, says our government is clearly involved in carrying out terror to blame it on foreign enemies. Did you know that on CIA.gov, they admit that they carried out terror attacks in 1953 to blame it on Mohammed Mosaddegh in Iran right, as Al a pretext Alex, to overthrow Alex, Iran? Alex, I'm going to rank all good stuff and all stuff that needs to be talked about, but the question is why? Why have so many of the major media outlets not talked about these alternative theories that exist behind 9-11. Why is that? Mark Twain said that in the beginning a patriot is a scarce man hated and feared and scorned, but in time when his cause succeeds, the timid join him because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. A lot of people don't have the courage that uh, you have, AJ. A lot of people don't have the courage of Charlie Sheen. They don't have the courage of the German defense minister, Andres von Bülow, what do you who, think, who two years ago What do you think public. they're afraid of uh, that, that's going to happen to them? They're afraid of being beaten up by the hordes of neocon intimidators who try to go out there with their Gestapo Nazi tactics to, to, to try to bludgeon everybody with their blogs and radio shows to shut up. But they've lost power because people have learned that they're a bunch of liars. They lied about the WMDs. They've lied about everything. And now their credibility is totally blown. The, the new White House memo just came out where Bush was talking about staging the shoot down of American planes to get to blame it on Saddam. That's public. That's admitted. We have been getting an overwhelming response to our showbiz tonight question of the day charlie sheen speaks out do you agree with his assertion that there is a government cover-up of 9-11 let's take a look at how the vote is going so far 82 percent of you say yes only 18 percent of you say no i had a sense that um that this thing was going to get hot i um i didn't realize that as you say it was going to go supernova that if they continue to attack me personally it only gives credence to our side of the argument. People want the truth. They want the truth. And what's been offered to us uh, resembles nothing of the sort. He says this, don't believe me, check out the facts. Go look at the evidence, don't believe the attack dogs. Just, it, it isn't about Charlie Sheen or Alex Jones or A.J. Hammer. Right. It's about NORAD standing down. It's about bombs in the buildings. It's about Pentagon documents saying they wanted to carry out these attacks and blame it on foreign enemies. This is all public. That's why all these physicists and politicians and people are, and congresswomen, ideas are bulletproof. And the New World Order better stop carrying out terror attacks. We've caught them over 200 times in the last 100 years, Western government's doing this. Hitler does it. The British do it. The Russians did it. Governments do this. They or And I'm not saying the whole government. Very small criminal black op, black world is what they're called. Operators are carrying this out. That's the facts. Please go investigate it, ladies and gentlemen. You will discover the truth. Look at America. It's turning into a police state. Well, let's, putting let's... cameras in school bathrooms. Nothing can stop the truth from coming out on 9-11. And we're in danger of the new world order carrying out more terror attacks to keep this war for empire. Charlie Sheen then appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Sheen again threw down the gauntlet and challenged his detractors to look at the facts of Building 7 and the five frames from the Pentagon. You know him from movies like Platoon and Wall Street, and in addition to seeing him every week on Two and a Half Men, uh, opening tonight, you can see him in Scary Movie 4. Please welcome the indestructible Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Happy 
almost Easter. Hey, back at you. Thank you. You 